fascinated by fairies. I guess ever since I was very young, uh, I've always been fascinated by fairy tales and folklore. When I was in school, uh, in elementary school even, I was always going to the library and reading about Greek mythology and Norse mythology and Celtic mythology and uh, Arthurian literature, Arthurian legends, and of course Celtic mythology and, and Arthuriana is, has got a lot to do with the whole fairy realm and, and uh, all, the terry, all, all the tales of, of, uh, of, well all the fairy tales basically come sort of from that, that tradition. And I was really interested in it, but not from a standpoint of, you know, carry fairies as cute little magical beings that sort of, you know, flutter around and are, are glittery and, and, and Tinkerbell y. Oh, don't, don't have nothing against Tinkerbell. I love Tinkerbell. I have Tinkerbell pen. But I'm, I was always fascinated as a kid by the kind of images I saw in, uh, in Brian Froud's fairy book, for instance, that, um, that fairies were not cute and chirpy and sparkly all the time, that there was. Uh, there was a kind of dangerous aspect to them, that they were things that that people used to speak about in terms of calling them the fair folk and the good folk because they didn't want to offend them ever because you never wanted to make a fairy mad, essentially. They were, you know, they were the things that kind of went bump in the night. Uh, they were the, they were the creatures who could either do you a favor or really mess you up. And they were capricious, and they were whimsical, and they were beautiful, but also very dangerous, and to be treated with a great deal of respect. And that fascinated me as a kid. And I always, you know, I could imagine these creatures just, you know, just be on the edges of your peripheral vision when you walk into a forest or something like that. Like, you know, in, I guess in this place, you're in the bushes somewhere. But uh, that always fascinated me. I guess that's where I started.